Hello and welcome to this video about Longknee Church of England Primary School, now Primary Academy, which is situated in the Sevenvale area of Gloucestershire. In spring 1979, after consulting with parents and governors, years five and six children went on Longney Primary School's first four-night educational and activity trip to Butlin's school venture at Minehead. Nine children went along with the trip. At Butlin's at the time, there were on-site days spent doing a wide variety of sporting experiences and off-site days, which were spent in undertaking studies around the geography and geology of the area and then going for a swim in a very cold Bristol Channel. To get the children there, a minibus was borrowed from the Star Centre at Allenwood. And this silent Super 8 video was made to show parents on the children's return, along with a display of their work. I hope you enjoy it. In 1979, the approved method of resuscitation was mouth to mouth, and here we have St John's ambulance experts from the local area showing the children how it was done. The dummy that Russell is trying to get into place was known with great laughter as Resussy Annie. Joe is being shown how to keep the airway clear of the tongue. This is Watchet Harbour at a very low tide. As well as the opportunity to see Watchet Harbour on what was a very cold day, the children went down onto the beach and the rocks nearby to see if they could discover fossils hidden among some of the boulders. Sometimes the boulders were hit 
and sometimes so were fingers. The children returned to Butlin's after a day's outing, only to find that there was one more activity before supper, which was boating on the Butlin's lakes. Some of the children could paddle well, and others got into great difficulties. The judo coach was very popular and one or two of the children sh showed some surprising expertise. Perhaps they'd been having lessons elsewhere. One of the highlights of the trip, organised by the school, was riding on moorland ponies. Some of the children knew how to ride before they got to the stables, but others were less expert. This shot from the back of a pony shows the children trailing along in any old older onto the moors. I can't believe that a risk assessment would pass this activity now. As you can see, there isn't a hard hat in sight. Abseiling down a tower went down a storm as the children came down backwards. Some found it quite difficult to find their feet. Others found it difficult just to move their feet. And then back inside, again a risk assessment wouldn't have allowed this activity now. It was actually the end product of a lesson into fencing. 
and they were allowed to put their masks on and have a little go at attacking each other with the moves prescribed by the teacher. Some were very stylish. And here they are, leaving their Butlins chalets for the last time, very tired after three nights and four days away, on their way back to Longley, where their parents greeted them with open arms.